Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a new palette that um, I got. Actually, it's a new to me palette and uh, some high tech at a low cost. And there's some really cool innovations going on right now. So I thought I'd go ahead and let you know what I found here. Um, but first off, we'll go ahead and get started with um, what I have on my face. And um, so it looks like uh, I did, okay, the Super Serum is by Relove, which is by Revolution. It's in Walmart. Everything is $5 and under. Um, I did have the Super Serum in F2. I got it in F3. That's what I have on today. And um, I, I'm really liking it. I like the finish on this product a lot. And so um, the... The foundations run at about five dollars. Everything else is about three dollars, so uh, it's a fun line. I also have the baby gloss on. This is the one in let's see what that one is, sweet. So this is what I have on the lips. I put a little bit of the fat oil on in supermodel, so that's what I have there. And then going ahead and moving on to bronzer. I did go ahead and get the, uh, well, the Heat Weight Bronzer and the Sunrise. I've actually had this one for a while. As you can see, it beat up the packaging. That means that I really like the product. And they continue with this product because Flower is doing a lot of new things. Uh, and they're redoing everything. Don't get rid of this. It's really good. And um, let's see. As far as what I have on for the blush, I have the Bare Minerals on. And this is the Kiss of Rose. And this is one of their bronzers that has a bronzer, blush, and highlighter in it. And that's what this one looks like. And that's what I have on the cheek. So I don't know if you can see there. But yeah, that's what I have on there. Um, I did go ahead and use ColourPop Seismic as well. This is a highlighter. It does have some glitter in it. Not a lot, but a little bit. And then as far as getting to the eyes, um, I did use a Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop and the NYX Stick It, Stick It in Light Ash Brown as far as my brow product. And um, I, I do have a gifted product today. Uh, we were walking through uh, TJ Maxx and we were actually there for my mom to find some stuff. And I, of course, <laughs> let out a, oh, wow, um, because I found a BH Cosmetics palette from uh, before they got bought by Revolution. And I didn't have this one, and I hadn't really been looking for any of them because when they got bought, I just figured there wouldn't be much out there anymore. Um, but I did get Avocado Toast, which is a really fun one. Um, it's part of their brunch line. And so as far as what I have on today, I have the Lemon Pepper Shade, and that's what I have on, on the inner corner right below the brow. I did go ahead and use Expensive um, right uh, in the crease, and then I did go ahead and put Haas over the lid. Right in the middle of the lid, I went ahead and used Green Juice, and then... Um, so I use green juice on the middle, and then right on the outer corner, this one, which is extra. So uh, that's what I have on. It's a really good palette. It's always been a favorite. I just didn't pick it up, and then all of a sudden Beach Cosmetics wasn't there anymore. And, you know, so, um, yeah. Um, thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I uh, also went ahead and used the Relove Revolution Long Lash Lengthening Mascara on today. And uh, let's see, one of the Emerite, yeah, actually that's not the Emerite one. Here it is. Um, the Emerite, and this is uh, one of their waterproof gel eyeliners. So I got uh, this on the eye as well. This way that it worked out. And it's kind of, 
odd. I wouldn't ever think of mixing rose and green together, but yeah, I'm kind of liking it. It's it's fun. It's different. They also have um, a corally color in here, a couple of coral colors. So yeah, I I wouldn't have ever thought of doing that, but that's what I got on my eyeballs. So um, again, really fun palette. Really enjoying it. And as far as the high tech at a low cost. Um, there are some really fun things coming out right now. And hyaluronic acid has been huge. I mean, it was, it really took off in the makeup area. And it took some of us a while to learn how to use it because you need to, uh, I mean, basically splash your face and then put the hyaluronic acid on because if you don't do that, then it's going to uh, pull the moisture from your skin and it's not going to work right and so you know there's all sorts of um, learning curves with it and all sorts of should it be in products and maybe it shouldn't be in products and so controversy there as well. Um, the hair companies are now coming out with uh, hyaluronic acid in their formulas uh, and I think it's pretty exciting. Uh, the Garnet Fructis, I went ahead and put, or picked this one up. This is a line called Pure Moisture. Uh, this particular one is their uh, tenon one, and it has hyaluronic acid. It also has cucumber water in it, and it, um, well, it's a tenon one, so it's basically heat protection, and it says that it quenches scalp and lengthens. And so instead of going ahead and making your curls, it, you know, coil up and be really tight, it actually makes everything sort of lengthen. And I like that because like today, instead of having curly curls, it's all more waves. And so I can actually get a different hairstyle out of it. Um, and it also has heat protection so that you can blow dry your hair and everything. And um, there's a whole line, and Garnet isn't the only group coming out with this, but this is what I've picked up so far. I also picked up the Pure Moisture Hydrating Conditioner, and um, it has hyaluronic acid in it as well. One of the big claims when hyaluronic acid first came out was that it gives you 70 two-hour moisture, and um, it's just that hyaluronic acid will last in your skin that long. Well, it will do the same thing in your hair. So uh, for some of us who have, in my case, coarse, curly, um, thick hair, uh, and never really have hair that's silky, soft, you know, and, and all that pretty stuff, um, this will do it for you. And um, it's in the regular, well, I got mine at Walmart, so it's in the regular grocery store and everything. Uh, I think this one was about $10, and this one was about $7. Um, actually, I don't think this one was $7. Um, I think this one was more like $4, and because it's a regular size conditioner, but if you go ahead and get the uh, bigger size, which my Walmart didn't have, and I think it runs at 7 but, you know, it says right here, 72 hour moisture for dry hair and scalp. So for a lot of us that have hair that is coarse and um, thick and in a lot of cases frizzy and, you know, all that good stuff, this is high technology at a low cost, which can really help you just change the whole way your hair feels and looks and hydration and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm really happy about it. I'm also happy about it because I'm getting older. Yeah, older, older. That's rough to say. But anyway, um, having pure moisture, you know, line that comes out and it actually works is something way cool. So I was thinking that that was just pretty amazing. Um, I also wanted to go ahead and put this product in here. I haven't used it enough to really have an opinion on it. I've been using it for close to a week now, but that's all. 
and this is K Beauty. Uh, this is from the Misha line. Uh, Misha, you can get over at Amazon. And this is a uh, Time Revolution Night Repair Pro B Ampule. And it has a whole bunch of fermented, um, so it has the probiotics in there, the fermentation, and they have a major fermentation technique. Um, if you want to get more information on probiotics, I would suggest going to one of the um, doctors on YouTube, like Dr. Dre. Um, I watched Dr. Dre has a couple of videos on probiotics, prebiotics, and um, probiotics, prebiotics, and there's one other one. But um, this product, I think, is going to be really amazing. You just use a dropper of it, and um, you get pretty much uh, whole droppers about, I don't know, two two droplets and it'll cover your whole face and you'll get a lot of moisture out of it and from what I can see from what I've been able to research I think this is actually a pretty good one for that and so again we're talking moisture moisture giving your um, giving the bacteria that lives on your face the ingredients so that or the good bacteria that lives on your face uh, the food that they need so that they can go ahead and um, sounds awful, but you know so that they can grow and thrive and help you um, it's supposed to be good for uh, Delaying aging and just helping your skin to be healthier again. Dr. Dre has a lot of good videos on this kind of thing and um, When I was researching products, I thought that this one would actually be a really good idea so that's what I'm trying right now. And um, I think Cassandra Banks does some of that as well. She has some videos too on that. And then I watched, yeah, Dr. Drake, Cassandra Banks, and Hiram. So all three of those are good resources to go and watch about probiotics. And um, they're, well, it's also something that if you feel unsure about it, definitely go ahead and talk with your uh, dermatologist about it as well. And um, so that's my update on what I found as far as new tech, and new tech that's at a low cost, so you're not spending hundreds of dollars on skin care and hair care and all that stuff. And I think that's just about the whole video that I have. I hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye.